And that's a strike at its own one. And I think that pitch crossed Nada up. Nada was sitting off the outside corner. And that ball was right down the middle. And Nada had to come back across into the plate and catch that one for a strike. And the two are going to have a little conversation. Make sure they're straight. Last thing you want is a weird wild pitch or something to put a couple of guys in scoring position. All right. The 0-1 pitch. Breaking in is Ortega, and Terry throws it into center field. And the E-1 is going to allow both runners to advance. The throw, Ortega got a piece of it, but not enough to keep it from trickling into short center. It's 0-1 to Aguilera, but he has two runners in scoring position. And not only is he hitting about 380 against Wisconsin this season, he's knocked in a three runs this season against the Rattlers. The 0 1 pitch on the outside corner, and it's 0 and 2. Peoria has added to their lead. They're now up 4 to 1 on Beloit in the bottom of the sixth inning. The 0-2 pitch. Aguilera took a little bit off the outside corner, and it's 1-2. and two. Activity in the Rattlers' bullpen. Right-hander getting loose out there. As the 1-2. Low, dug out by Nada. And it's... Two and two to Aguilera. Like Ronnie Muck was loosening in the Burlington bullpen. Harvey Martin is getting loose in the Rattlers bullpen. Terry and Nita trying to get together on a sign here on this 2-2 pitch with two on and two out. Strike three looking. Painted the corner with a fastball. And that's strikeout number eight for Clint Terry. 